Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here, and in today's video, we're going to teach you about some of the best 15 minute craft ideas. You're bound to find some new tips and tricks on craft projects that you're definitely going to want to try out. And the best part of this video is that they're all under 15 minutes. It's super easy to create a lot of these projects, especially after you get familiar with your Cricut. But a lot of these are only just a few simple steps um, that you're definitely going to enjoy. But what we want to talk about is that all of the images you see here are either from our membership site cut file library or our font dashboard. So you can get all of these cut files and many, many more at our membership site makersgonnalearn.com, which is a die cutting community with over 700 digital cut files and almost 100 fonts. It's so much fun. We have over 2000 members that love their die cutting machine and love getting their crafty inspiration with us. So before we get started, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You all seem to love these types of videos um, and we'll try to link some of these individual project tutorials down below so that you're able to check those out on the ones you're most interested in. So a lot of these, I think every one of these actually can be done with the Maker or a Cricut Explorer. So we love both of our machines and you can even make a lot of these with the other types of die cutting machines as well. So, okay, let's jump into it. First things first, I love this cutting board right here. It is a very simple um, home decor piece that is actually print and cut. So all you're able to do, take our pieces, uh, our little cactus, and you put it in Cricut Design Space, um, and then you print it on printable vinyl, and then you're able to cut it and then apply it just like a sticker. This is not food safe, but it's awesome for decor and different things in your home, okay? Next up, I love how you're able to take um, a cat food bowl, or you could do this for a dog with one of our dog fonts that are coming out, um, and you can just personalize the animal's name to it. It's a perfect, easy vinyl project, um, and this is something you'll want to check out our um, tips for applying vinyl on rounded surfaces video, just so that you can get some tips and tricks for conquering that project successfully. Um, and we love this because Unlike our cut files, with our fonts, you're able to customize this if you have any particular spellings or anything that you want to go through and be really creative, okay? Super fun project. You can do that to any pet food bowls and things like that. So next up, um, you know, back to school has already came and gone, but we're already in that next semester. So maybe you're looking for new ways to have your kids um, lunches prepared, and I think this is really awesome. So we were able to pick this bowl up. It comes with the silverware right in the middle, and you're again able to use one of our fonts, which we're using the Passion and Bliss today to make this awesome and customized little lunch. So you're able to pair those two fonts together and create a really awesome, quick and easy um, personalized lunch so that they're able to you know, remember whose is whose. If you have multiple children, you can pick out different colors in different um, little bowls. So that's super fun and a really practical uh, DIY to use with your Cricut. So if there's any babies in your life, we absolutely adore using glitter, um, HTV, and things like that on um, onesies. It's really simple. You can use your Cricut Easy Press, your Cricut um, to cut out the iron-on, and uh, put it together. This actual onesie is um, one that I love. It has two colors of glitter on here, which is really fun. Um, and it's a really simple layering iron-on project just because you know, you're know you not any doing any complicated layering. It's really simple. Um, and we do have videos helping you guys use glitter HTV and layering. Um, if you are layering um, heat transfer vinyl or iron-on, they're the same thing. Um, you wanna make sure your glitter is always your base. You can never put glitter on top of any other layer. So that's a fun fact. Next up, we have this awesome hat. Applying heat transfer vinyl or iron on to hats are super fun and something that not everyone knows that they're able to do. The first time that you do this process, you want to work a little slowly um, just to make sure you're doing it properly. We have multiple videos teaching you guys exactly how to iron on hats and it's a really great resource, awesome video um, for you guys, and you will be able to conquer this exact project in 15 minutes or less, and that includes your cut and weaving time. So it's really fun. 
Um, next up, we used our font arrow words. This is an adorable little bracelet. It's super adorable. Um, you're able to customize this for any words and the arrows get made in your font. So you're able to customize this, pick out your own arrows and things like that. And guys, we're using just a little leather bracelet from the craft store with HTV. So heat transfer vinyl, super awesome. Um, and it's really a simple craft project that you're able to enjoy. Um, this is real leather, so you don't have any worries of burning your leather or, you know, if it's faux, it could really damage it with the heat. This is a flawless project. So continuing on the trend about using heat transfer vinyl or iron-on, if you are confused, they're the same thing. So I'm trying to reference both so that everyone's well aware. Um, this is a really great wood plaque that we were able to use white wood stain. And then we were able to do that layering um, heat transfer vinyl technique on here for a quick and easy Valentine's Day project or something adorable like that. Um, it's really easy to layer heat transfer vinyl um, we have, like I said, multiple videos on it, so be sure to check that out. Um, but again, you just go through that process with that white stain. Super awesome. Next up, everyone absolutely adores mugs. I see that all over the Cricut Facebook groups, and this is a great simple project that you're able to, you know, make with permanent vinyl. You could also use outdoor vinyl. Both of those will work great. We do not recommend washing these in the dishwasher, hand wash only. Um, but I have heard that they will last like five or six times in the dishwasher, but I mean, that will, the results will vary on that one. Okay, so definitely stick to the hand washing to have that durability and life last. So next up, we have an awesome and easy t-shirt. This one right here, again, super easy, super awesome to make a little t-shirt. We have a whole video for iron on for beginners. Um, if you have never been able to make a t-shirt and you want to know everything start to finish, be sure to check out that video because you definitely want to check it out. Um, next up in our organization collection at Makers Gonna Learn, we are able to create lots and lots of amazing um, little organizational um, decals that you're able to cut and apply with just regular black vinyl. Guys, I went through and went to Ikea got all kinds of different sizes of these and I've been able to organize all of my pasta, my flour, my brown sugar, you know, everything like that looks amazing um, in my cabinets or cupboards or pantry, whatever you have. It really just takes that up a notch and it makes you feel a little bit more organized when everything has that seamless look. So we love that. Um, and then we have this awesome pillow. So a lot of times people think that you have to have a pillow that's not stuffed, but that's just not the case. You're able to use iron on and iron directly onto already a stuffed pillow. So that's really awesome. It's really easy. Um, and this is a great project. We'll link to a video that we do the same process to. Um, and you can also take this and get inspired to do stuffed animals. So if you've seen those projects for Valentine's Day where people will customize um, stuffed animals, it's the same process and procedures that you'll want to do for this project. So all of these projects are wonderful, but even on our backdrop, we have some really easy projects. So you can see here, the You Belong Here is simply a wood sign. We painted the edges black, stained again with the white stain. We cannot get over using white stain. We love it. Um, and then we're able to cut out the You Belong Here from our home collection in vinyl and quickly apply it on. And then you can see here, you can use customized um, signs up here. We did our logo. You could do your logo if you own a business or anything like that. Um, and then we even were able to make some quick um, dry erase boards turn into really great decor with our hot, hot glue gun and things like that. So as you can see, guys, there's tons of quick and easy 15 minute craft projects that you're able to make with your Cricut. Mainly we use three different materials, iron on, vinyl, and then printable vinyl for all of these projects. And you can see that they're all totally different. So if you guys would like to check out each of these project tutorials individually, be sure to check out the description box for links to all of those. 
If you love the art that you see here and you want to get access to those cut files, be sure to check out that first link down below to learn all about our membership tiers. And as always, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY videos right here on our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye!